let me show you the secret sauce to these kind of fairy light, magical, sparkly winter photos. It's, it's really weird. It actually works. Monique here, Silverpaw Studio, and we are in the studio right now awaiting some puppies and kittens to arrive. And what we're trying to do is kind of a sparkly winter scene. <laughs> I started with this cheapest backdrop I could find in the world. I think it was like $17, tons of wrinkles. You can very, very, very carefully iron it, but it still is gonna have a lot of wrinkles. So I've got a lot of space between me and the subject. I've got my regular bench right here. Y'all seen my bench. And I've got a white cloth. And I found some sequins, sequin fabric for like clearance. So amazing. Always check the clearance rack. I found exactly what I was looking for that's usually $30 a yard and I saw it for $30 a yard, but it was the bolt end, the remnant, and it was in the clearance section for 80% off. And since I got a remnant, it was another 50% off that. So $60 worth of fabric for nine. Oh, what? Because I had this set up where it was just the white with the sparkles in the background and I was like, it needs something, it needs something. So not only do I have the super cheap backdrop and I have the sequin fabric that I found on clearance, let me show you the secret sauce to these kind of fairy light, magical, sparkly winter photos. It's, it's really weird. Okay, do you wanna? So here's, here's my camera. Okay, and it's got the 7200 lens on it. And this lens has a really big lens hood. And we had a party at our house a couple of uh, year and a half ago. And we had in jars some fairy lights and they were in the garage. And I thought, what can I do with these little tiny $6 fairy lights? <laughs> and this is what I did. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is masking tape onto the lens hood of my... <laughs> 7200 lens and this is the little battery pack taped on here it'll go on the top so i strategically taped it on the top and so that i can get to the on off switch huh <laughs> so i've got these where they're going to be in front of the lens and be little out of focus points of light and I tried it on Wiggles, the dog, and I tried it on my dog at home before I settle this up. <laughs> it works, it actually works. $6 fairy lights from the craft store that people usually just throw in a mason jar at a party. And I've just taped them all around. Can you see that? Here. So it's completely taped on here. And I try not to get the tape on the dark side in here because it's too light. I could use my black gaff tape too. The only problem is, is these are yellow and I want everything to be more of a silver uh, kind of gray tone. I want it to match basically. Like if these out of focus points are silver, I want these to be silver. So it's gonna take a little bit in the computer to change the color of the lights, but <laughs> yeah, we put this on the front of the camera, nice and secure. This is all taped on here. And guess what? We don't have any fairy lights all over the dog. We don't have to like make the room super dark. We don't have to shoot at a low, low, low uh, shutter speed. Wow, I can get fairy lights with this. It works, it works. Let me turn it off so I can conserve battery. There's just two AA batteries in here. Oh, and I thought about putting this set up on another lens, but it's too wide. So we're just gonna work with this one. Um, I have my continuous Godox UL 150 here. So I'm just gonna turn that on, no flash. So I know exactly what my aperture or my, you know, flash is, my light all the time. And I'll show you this really cheap. Looks like fairy lights that are out of focus. Now we have to wait for puppies and kittens. <laughs> oh, and Frank. Oh my god, kitten friends. Hello everybody. 
Let's see, we can get them as close to each other as possible. There we go, thank you. Oh, oh. So pull your toy back, Colleen. It's Colleen, right? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Oops, that gray one's like not having it. <laughs> This, this little tuxedo one's doing pretty good. I'm gonna try to be ready for you. That gray one's not having it. I'm sorry, pup kitten. Oh. Yeah. If you could sit out there with him, yeah, that'd be sorry, great. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Just so the neighbors aren't like, what's going on? <laughs> There's abandoned puppies right here. Oh, do you see that kitten's look? Like, ooh, escape. <gasps> Kind of likes it, doesn't quite get the association yet. That's cute. And up really fast. Okay, it's puppy time. Yeah? Oh, what? What? Hi. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Try maybe just sitting. What do you think about that? I've never sat before in my life. <laughs> oh, why am I on this platform? I'm freaking out. What are you doing? Thank you. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Actually, Frank, can you stand closer to the light? Switch sides so the dog looks into the light. Okay. There we go. Let's try a new sound. Perfect, 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 perfect. Perfect, everyone. Oh my goodness gracious. We're doing it. We're doing it. There we go, there we go. It's like they don't know where the back of this thing is. <laughs> it's, it's a little narrow for them, that's true. Is that better, Pepperoni? Yeah, a little bit. There you go. Now a little swish. Let's see what we think of this, what the puppies think of this. <laughs> Goodness. Got it. Oh, that's cute. They don't like the disco dogs. <laughs> so, the idea is they kind of want to be up here anyway. What do you think? All right. How much of the chair? Cause like if I'm down here. That's true. Oh gosh, that would work. That would work. You're hired. Oh my gosh, that's cute. What is happening? Everybody needs a nap now. What a journey. Yeah. Mr. Gregor. Hi, what's this? What's that? What's that? 
Oh my goodness. Are you the kid of summer? <gasps> okay, that was it. There was five kittens and two puppies. And Frank, <laughs> he sacrificed Hi. his flesh yeah. and blood. The kittens, teeny little kittens, just snagged yeah, and wouldn't just... let go. They love him so much. <laughs> sure, sure, that's yeah. the story. Um, but I think they did okay overall. Yeah, you know, considering. Yeah. You know, um, kind of out of control youngsters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think my contraption lucky. worked. I didn't have all the lights strung around the puppies oh, or around especially them. especially kittens and puppies oh and my stuff. Gosh. They no. were they were eating nibbling on the sequins a little bit. So if you try this, be wary of that. <laughs> really watch them close. I want to show you a couple of easy ways to edit out those yellow out of focus areas in these sparkly kitty and puppy photos. So let's go over to my Lightroom. I'm gonna make me smaller down in the corner. And I've already culled these. I've picked out all the ones that I wanna use and there's actually probably too many. <laughs> uh, we have a couple of different issues here. Uh, these kittens, like this kitten's a black and white kitten. So uh, this one's actually be gonna be kind of easy. So I'm gonna do a regular like edit to this, uh, bring up the shadows, you know, just kind of play around with this a little bit. So that looks pretty good. I like that. But you can see these yellow out of focus areas where the little fairy lights were, which I really love, but I want them to match. So what's really, really easy with the black kitten, black and white kitten, is I can just go down here to hue and saturation and pull down the yellow. So since he's a black and white kitten right here, I can probably even just go to black and white, but I feel like that kind of takes away a little bit of the color. Um, so I'm not really excited about doing that. See how this still has a little bit of color in there. I don't know. I just like the feel of that. Um, so that's the easy way <laughs> of what I was doing here. Another thing that you can do, let me undo some of that. Okay. So we're back to this what you can do kind of a cool thing is go up to this masking and you can select subject and it works really well watch this i can't believe this right it's super cool there's the kitten click invert over on the side now i only have the background except for this little piece on his foot oh darn um then you can go down to oops you can go down to the hue and saturation and pull the saturation down for the whole picture, kind of like what we were doing, but not on the kitten. So the kitten still retains. So instead of being able to fine tune, unfortunately you can't fine tune down in the hue and saturation panel here for some reason, uh, but I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> you could pull this down. So black and white kittens, there's a couple different ways you can do it. And then you can say done. You can also take this over into Photoshop, which we're not going to do on this one, but I'm going to use that over on one of the puppies. So you could see how this puppy has the same color, kind of this brown yellow that's in the bubbles. So let's select the subject again. Okay. And then we're going to do inverse of that and see what we can see what happens if we pull down saturation i think that looks pretty good but what you might need to do is come up here and play around with the mask a little bit uh, with some of the other brush settings but overall i mean that looks pretty good to me it, it's pretty darn simple i'm gonna do like i haven't done any adjustments to this one right so let's do a little bit of adjustments let's bring up those shadows quite a bit Ooh, we don't want that. Okay. Uh, so let's say this is where we want it. We're going to select the subject over in the masking area. It doesn't a super job. I should probably do a whole video just on masking. We're going to invert that. And then we're going to bring the saturation down. This is the simplest way. This is the very simplest way of doing this. And there we go. Yeah. And you can kind of see like this was one of the pictures. Th oh, this was more similar. This one to this one. Here's another cool thing. Here's this one that I've already edited. I can shift click this and sync and watch what it does. Synchronize. And so it gives me settings for sync, but AI mass might take some time. And it did it. So if I was to come over here now to the one it just did and ask about masks, you could see it right there. There it is. 
<laughs> it duplicated the mask as well. So now we have both of these pictures done just like that and press N and we can see them side by side. They're done. That is how you can quickly and easily edit out the yellowness to your out of focus uh, fairy lights. Very cool. All right. Well, thanks for, for coming yeah. down, Frank. You're welcome. I uh, hope you try my little uh, contraption with the lens hood. Let me grab it real quick and I can show them again. <laughs> so <laughs> there's my yeah. contraption and it worked. And these are on little wires so I can move them around them. Yeah. 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 Pretty cool. Yeah, it is. All right. So that's my, my solution to fairy light safety with puppies and kittens. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming along. We'll see you in the next one. Oh, we forgot. Yeah. And as always, always. <laughs> we, we wish you many whoops, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S's. -E -S Woo, fun. All right. I'm awake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Did you do a good job? You smell like a puppy. <gasps> ah, you're right.